This is Betty and welcome back to my channel. I am here to share with you guys some projects I created using Coca Rosa Studio dies. And I'm going to share with you the dies first and then I'll share with you the projects I created. If you are interested in the dies that I share today, I will leave a link below um, to those products. You can just click on the link and go directly to the um, product. Also, I will have a link to the store if you want to go and look around. I have a coupon code that will also be listed below as well as in the screen so you guys can save 20% off your purchase. All right, you guys, so let me share with you what I created. So I use this cover plate die. I love a good cover plate. And this one is super, super cute. Um, I'm going to measure or give you the size for this die. And this die measures four by, looks like five and a half. So four by five and a half. So that's a great size uh, for a card. And then I use this cute banner die right here. I love this banner die. I love the scallops, uh, which really makes it cute. It's a great layering um, die as well. So you can really create some cute product projects with this die. It's also a great size. So I love this one. And then you always need a great box die in your stash. And this is the box that I played with for my projects. It's super cute. So here's the first thing I created using the banner die. This super cute Eminem Halloween banner die. I think it turned out adorable. And you can see the pretty um, scallop edge um, to the banner really cute so let me go one by one so this is the first one right here and i wanted to play with these m, m stickers i had in my stash and i pulled that out and wanted to showcase those as well and so uh, this is how it turned out you guys like i said it turned out super 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 cute i love how this banner turned out. I'm going to give this banner to my daughter. I also used some eyelets um, to pull the ribbon through. And then I have um, these cute little bells, um, these pumpkin bells I had in my stash. I thought that was really cute to add that, so I added that. So that's the first banner. And then here's the second banner. So adorable, you guys. I put a little spider up there. And look at the Eminem character. So cute. And then here's the third one. This other cute Eminem character. And you can see the eyelets I use. And another one of those pumpkin bells. See, you can see it better there. All right, so I just... Um, Put the word boo on this banner. Let me share with you the back side of the banner. Here's the back. Really, really cute. And I'll leave the name of the paper um, collection I use in the um, description box. So you guys just check below. So that's my first project right there. So cute. All right, so I wanted to create a cute little set. And so let me share with you um, the next project I created. And here is the second project I created to match the banner, this cute card. And you can see the plate die that I use. I absolutely love the design that it has in the back um, of the card. It just makes a really cute design. And I went again with the cute little Eminem character to match my banner and then i have a sentiment here you've been booed and that's just a tag i had in my stash but i think it really really came out cute the little eminem character is holding his um trick-or-treat pumpkin there with eminems coming out 
and I just think this turned out absolutely adorable. I love, love the plate die. I love that playful pattern in the back. It just really brings a fun feel uh, to the card. And so here's the inside of the card right here. Really, really cute. And also on this card, I use some matte board to lift up the card and give it a lot of dimension. Um, I love to do that. So I just use um, some matte board um, underneath this layer. And um, I have a rosette here. And here's the back. I use this fun um, glitter orange paper. But I wanted it to match and go together as a set. I'm going to include this in my daughter's um, trick-or-treat bag. I'm going to include that card. And then lastly, I want to share with you the cute little box um, that I made to go also with this set. Um, it's so cute. It has a window and I put some acetate in there and you can see the M&Ms peeking out of there. I thought that was cute. I have this cute little M&M um, sticker here as a tag. And I just tied it up real cute so that it also can match the other items and go as a set. So I'm going to include this as well in my daughter's trick-or-treat bag. And she loves plain M&Ms. So this was perfect for her. And I love how this cute little box turned out. Here's the back of it. You see I tied some cute ribbon around it and made a really, really cute gift. So you, it's a... Even though it's small, you can still, you can see how much M&M's I packed inside. I just put some M&M's in a clear bag and it really is a good size for a good treat. So that's the third project I created. And you can see how cute this whole little M&M Halloween set came together. So those are my projects that I created using the Cocorosa Studio dies. Make sure you guys check out the store and pick up some goodies uh, for your crafting needs. All information will be listed below um, so that you can get to it quickly. I appreciate you guys tuning in. If you like what I created, I would appreciate if you like this video. Also, I would love for you to become a part of my YouTube family by hitting that subscribe button. And also hit that bell to be notified when I upload a video. I'm also on Instagram. If you want to check me out there, I will leave a link below. And until next time, make sure you always create with love and passion. Bye.